Alright, welcome everybody. Welcome back, Chuckle. Welcome back, Heike. I hope you both have wonderful days. We're going to continue on with our glorious based space adventure. Okay. Let's get stuck in, shall we? Uh, Charcoal, if you missed the last one, that's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the, um, we made a lot of pretty huge discoveries, and I think we even have a fairly decent plan this time, um, right off the bat. So, man, I'm struggling to even remember where, um, what did we do last year? I'm trying to remember. Um, I know we did a lot. I remember that for sure. I just can't remember exactly what we did. Um, we, I think we came close to confirming my theory about the interloper flying into the sun and ending the, uh, you know, I know I missed the light. Yeah, no, you've, you've definitely, oh, I'll tell you what, let's, first things first, let's have a little read through the, um, through the map log and, um, or through the rumor thing and just see. Big toasty station, oh yeah, we got to the sun station, um, yeah, we, we did a lot. So this is probably looking a bit more connected as well. We now know a bit more about um, how to get to the sixth location, which is interesting. Um, we got into the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, but we need to go back to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge because we didn't read everything before the uh, world exploded. Or, I, I guess, the star system. Um, we know how to get to the Black Hole Forge, but we haven't quite managed to actually get there yet. Yeah, we made a... Made quite a lot of progress, that's for sure. Um, everyone's done at the sun station, that's good to know. Still stuff at the Ashwin project to do, apparently. Uh, we still haven't been to the lake bed cave. We've got more in the quantum caves, which is interesting. Sunless City, hey, knifey man, how you doing? Welcome back to the stream, brother. I hope you're doing well. Um, <clears throat> there's more at the Hanging City, apparently. Which is interesting. I would assume it's honestly just what's left of the Black Hole Forge, but I guess we'll see. Studying with a mate who's also watching you against his will will not be so talkative. No worries, no worries. Hello, knifey man's friend. I hope my uh, space adventures assist you in whatever you're trying to do study-wise. Anyway, um, our plan today initially is just going to be... Let's go to Brittle Hollow and try and check out the Black Hole Forge properly. Because we now... Know Ice the quantum. Fuck it. Sick location time, baby. Let's go. Okay. Okay, we need to take a picture of this thing. Ah, it's probably not good enough. Um, we'll wait till we get a bit closer. I mean, look, you can have a plan in this game. Sometimes it's going to get sidetracked by the ridiculous shit that exists. So, there's not really much you can do about that, you know? That's probably a good enough picture. That's probably fine, right? How did you get to the sun station? Um... It, we use the Ash Twin Project's, uh, you know, towers, basically, um, to fly onto it. Which I think is, you know, it's got to be the intended way, right? Okay. Wait, what? Why'd it go? We have a picture of it, though! What? <laughs> Game. Are you for real right now? It's there, right? That's it? That's the interloper. No, that's the... Oh, uh, uh, that's the Ash Twin. That's... It fucking vanished. <laughs> you weren't looking. But the... I took a picture, dude. I took a picture. <laughs> Does that not count as look... Oh, fuck. All right, well. I, so, I didn't realize you had to be looking at the picture as well. That's fucked. Well, whatever. I guess we'll go Brittle Hollow. But you didn't look at the picture. I mean, I look, I have no logical defense for that. I can only say... I don't know, fuck you game, grumble grumble. That's, that's all I got this time. Observing an image of the quantum object, yeah, that's... Yeah, I have no logical defense for my actions, I can only say, um... F. That's that's pretty much it. GG. It happens. It's alright, we'll go Brittle Hollow, I don't even know if we have enough time, because we gotta fucking... We gotta move, right? We have to... To do the Brittle Hollow thing, we need to get to the... Um, Black Hole Forge's controls, move it down, get back up, get back onto our ship, yeet ourselves to at the Ashtwin Project, take the tower to the Black Forge thing, and then, then we'll be good. So that's quite a lot, and we've wasted an amount of time already on this loop, but fuck it, we're gonna give it a shot regardless, I suppose. Okay. Okay, where is, uh, oh wait, there's, the, okay, okay, so we should be, it should be here? Oh yeah, there it is, excellent, okay.
Okay. Let's go, boys. Wish me luck. Let's probably have my flashlight on. Apparently, it's dark as hell around here. I suppose it happens when there's no sun. Did you finally meet Gabbro? Oh, yeah, we did at the very end of last stream. Um, I can't remember who it was. Someone in popped in chat towards the end and um, was like, you should end this by going to see Gabbro. And I was like, cool, I think I've seen that guy before. And then we went there, and I'd never been to that area before. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Because he told me where he was. And he was like, oh, I've just kind of spoiled you a little bit. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. Shit happens, don't sweat it. We've had a very, very organic experience, though. Like, I feel like chat has not spoiled me that much on this game, so... Like, I remember when I was playing Dark Souls, I did really enjoy playing Dark Souls on stream, but I did not feel like I had an organic Dark Souls experience, you know? Because, like, obviously that game is very, you know, it's difficult to work out if you don't look up anything whatsoever. And as a result, that leads to a lot of chat backseating, especially when get, it gets slow, right? Even if you're, like, no backseating, chat's going to be like, for fuck's sake, Devin, just go over here and... I get it, you know, it can be pretty frustrating, but at the same time, it did lead to me having a fairly inorganic experience relative to, uh, I think, what most people have. Certainly for a first playthrough, too. But, yeah. But, yeah, we finally met Gabbro. Um, we, all, we died on this bit quite a few times, actually, because of the uh, gap in the, uh, in the uh, bridge. There's no gap in the bridge on this side. I had no idea. Okay, I know the Black Hole Forge control, uh, Black Black City Enduring Blasphemous was le epic. True. Okay, um. Fuck. Okay, the Black Hole Forge controls are nearby. Are they this way? This looks kind of familiar. Maybe they're just like here? Thank you for the trees. I appreciate it. Okay, we might, we've probably read all this shit. It's my assumption anyway. If anyone knows where the Black Cod Forge controls are, by the way, honestly, this is one of those things where, like, this is such a minor spoiler, I'm actually fine with you telling me. But I think, I think this is it. This looks quite familiar, to be honest. For the record, using audio booster at once is more efficient than alternating. Oh, okay. Shh. <laughs> hashtag, no, this is a hashtag no spoiler zone. This feels like, this, oh, it feels like this could, wait, where am I? Is this new? Have I never been here? Where the fuck am I? What? Oh, it's a new entrance. Okay, so this is on the north side. So we can use this to get there quicker, actually. Wait, where is it? Oh my god. So this is just a shortcut. So we actually haven't been here. Okay, can, how do I, is there, there's no way to like pin this, is there? Because that would be a li almost too good. Alright, well we found the shortcut at least, that's pretty good. Um, but that means we actually do have a lot of reading to do, because all this area I'm pretty sure is new then. We, and yeah, we should read everything. Cause it, yeah, I get the impression there is a good chance all this is new. Okay. Oh, frick. Alright, let's go. It's, it's reading time, boys. Get your ears ready. Okay. I feel strange trying to recreate a known as warp core around, uh, without him. At times, it still feels strange no, uh, to be, no longer be his very young apprentice, and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. A hypothesis, it, this will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss uh, my old mentor and deeply. To have a chance, uh, sorry, to have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably, but what if excitement uh, has clouded my ass assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong to vol in volunteer to build it? I was born in the star system, and I never saw an owner's warp call with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. Uh, what if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? Yes, what if? Still, uh, all I can give is my best, and, is an and as an owner would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we can find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clary and Root in the forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Alright, we definitely have not read this shit. This is all new. Um, unless I somehow completely miss this entire area. 
There's a scroll here that we probably should carry, because there's nowhere to read it here, so... I know there was a place back down here to read it. Um, was it? Yeah, it was this way. Okay, cool. Oh, there's actually, like, oh, a whole bunch of slots. Sick. All right, please enter. There we go. Okay. We could retrieve the warp... Solution one. We could retrieve the warp court from the vessel. This would require a, duck to, a, tr a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said many good know my perished there. Yeah, it was anglerfish, dude. Blind anglerfish, but anglerfish nonetheless. My mentor coalesced, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil at Amber Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. If I remember the anglerfish fossil, we used to play in the fossil fish cave when we were children. Oh, there you go. Uh, we already know this. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, though. Uh, coalesce. What Melori, what Melori and I have learned from that fossil um, would theoretically help us avoid the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. The, war uh, the vessel's warp core is broken. At best, uh, recall those present when the uh, vessel crashed. Said it sustained lethal injuries. There is no guarantee. At best, there is no guarantee uh, for. The Wait, no, sorry. The vessel's warp core is broken. At best, I understand. There is no guaranteed reward for this risk. Even if uh, it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. Okay. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me uh, there was a little time. There was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Okay. The Ashwin project requires a uh, requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? Really, that's all the text here. Interesting. Was there another? I was going to say. I think there was another one. There was indeed. Okay. Solution 2. We could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Abandoning the vessel's warp core in its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. I think it would be best to relearn. Uh, this is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Is it, though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and the others... Oh my god, Daily Dose is stupid. It has been a long time. Welcome back to the stream, brother. How you doing? Now believe it may be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should at least... Oh, sorry. We should choose the option with the least potential for harm. Based utilitarian nomai. I would very much like to craft a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. Our greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such powerful core, or any of the ca uh, crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke was apprenticed to an owner who created the original design, and our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but an owner explained many of the, his designs to me. Interesting. This is... Okay, so um, I just need to check my phone real quick and maybe reply to a message. Oh, so one sec. Okay, cool. I'm having a mate over for board games tomorrow. Um, yeah, this is out of wild, yeah. Okay. I gotta say, I'm surprised you didn't recognise it immediately. It seems like everyone who plays this game just falls in love with it to an unbelievable degree. Um, or at least it's been my experience with the fan base thus far. Y'all guys do be fucking crazy, though. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, uh, I was just replying to a message because um, one of my mates is coming over for board games tomorrow. We're do we've got like a group campaign. I, don't I think I mentioned it last stream. We're playing pan a game called Pandemic Legacy. You found it boring. Oh, no, this game's sick as fuck. you got to be crazy to find this boring. I love it. Hey, uh, how you doing, mate? Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back. Out of wild. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know. Oh, yeah, he's saying he found out a wild's boring. Ignore him. He's clearly an uncultured plebeian. Oh, it's the controls! We did it! Pog! Alright, now we just have to go back to the ship then. Yeah, because that's rising. Cool, we actually have a chance. I don't believe it. We have a chance and we found the controls. Just not my kind of game. On Honestly, look, real talk, I can actually understand people finding this boring. I don't, because I love the... Um, I think the exploration in this game is done so goddamn well, um, but I just could never find it boring. Oh my god, please send- fuck me. Help. Okay, um, not please fuck me, please send help. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I, I could never find something like this boring personally, because I really- just the exploration is so well done, and the puzzles are like, you know, are quite interesting as well. Um, 
But I can understand why someone might. I think Yahtzee found it quite boring. Um, I don't know if people still watch him, but yeah, zero punctuation. Um, I've always had a lot of respect for him as a game journalist. I think he's a, he's a cool boy. But yeah, he, he kind of had the same take, even though he said he should have, in theory, loved it. Um, but I definitely fall into the love camp. This is this game is... Uh, I think, I, I initially, i got to say, I know everyone says that, you know, everyone who finishes game wants to erase it from their memories. Initially, I was like, yeah, but I don't think I'm going to be like that. I'll probably just enjoy it for what it is and then move on. And, but actually, now that I've played like a decent chunk of it, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in that camp, honestly. <laughs> there's like a very good chance. Uh, the map is actually pretty small, but there's enough. Um, this game really does prove you don't need a giant, gigantic open world map. Dude, I have fucking... Hey, welcome back, Wolf. How you doing? Um, I have harped on this shit for so long. I am actually so done with um, open world games. This is actually... I'm really glad you've mentioned that, because this is one of the only open world games I can think of that I would say actually benefits from having an open world. Unironically, um, Fallout 3 and 4... Fucking, um, oh my god, what's it called? Cyberpunk I played all the way through as well. Did not benefit from having an open world. Um, Skyrim, loads of those kind of open world RPGs, especially the classic fan fantasy ones. I Breath of the Wild's a good shout, actually. Um, but I will 100% say that even Breath of the Wild, I have, I have it, and I've played a decent chunk of it, but I've never beaten it because I just... It, it just, it, I still find it a tiny bit too empty. I Like, it does utilize this open world actually quite well, though. A lot better than the other games I've mentioned. Um, so I get it, but it's still not massively my cup of tea. And I think loads of games rely on open world more as a crutch than anything else. Um, which is super unfortunate. And this is, this is, pro honestly, I would, I would happily say that this is my favorite um, open world game, I think. So, yeah. Yeah, I find it hard to play on Rails um, games after this. I So, I don't mind on Rails games. It just, for me, it really goes down to the type of game you want to make, right? Some games benefit from being more on Rails. Some games benefit from, you know, not being on Rails. Um, in fact, funnily enough, it's a board game, so it's not 100% applicable. But genuinely, um, I, would, I would straight up say that um, Pandemic Legacy really benefits from being on Rails. Like, the story is delivered to you in a very linear fashion in that game. Um, but it, it's actually massively to its advantage, in my opinion. Um, I don't think... I don't think that game would benefit from being more open um, and letting you have more decisions to make in a story sense. You still have a lot of decisions to make gameplay-wise, obviously, but... Yeah, I know that's a board game, so it's not, again, not 100% applicable, but... I'd still say it, it does apply to some extent. I think that's, uh, that is why I like d d it's so free. Yeah, see, I, I don't vibe with d d either, um, but to be fair, that's for different reasons, I think. Like... D&D is... I get the appeal, don't get me wrong. I understand why people love it, but I just... I'm not that into roleplay, I've discovered, unfortunately. Oh, I thought my game just crashed there. We're all right. Um, but I, I love the idea of roleplay more than I like the implementation, generally. Um, like, I think it's... I, I typically like games that have quite clearly defined mechanics and systems that you can kind of, like, interact with. And D and D is like the antithesis to that, you know. It's it's all about the stories you create and that kind of thing, which again, if you're into it, I understand the appeal, um, or like I understand why that would appeal to people. Um, but it's it's just not for me, you know. Oh fuck! What was? Hang on. What? I need to go one minute before we do this. Let me just go check which one was actually the brittle hollow one, because um, otherwise, I might end up teleporting to the wrong place and wasting a bunch of time. Which I don't particularly fancy. So, let's give this a shot. Uh, where's the image here in it? Okay, Brittle Hollow is you, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's you. So, okay. Uh, we're looking for the site in between the Cyclone and the Timber Heath one. The one with trees and shit. So, I think... Alright, that should be easy enough to find. I can't get into the and because I have no friends. Can we get some Fs in chat for the self-roast? Okay, so I think it's, it's in between. It's on the other side, I think. Now I have two friends. F of empathy. Yeah, precisely. You get it. You get it. This guy gets it. Okay, so it's... Okay, so that's not it. And we know it's not this one. So it's going to be the next tower along. Assuming I've done this correctly. Oh, that doesn't look right either, to be honest. Maybe it, it, it is. I mean, it's definitely the... It definitely lines up correctly. Wait, we had to go underground to get to the Brittle Hollow one, right? Oh, yeah, fuck. Wait, hang on. 
Oh shit, are we gonna be able to... No, we should be able to do this. Yeah, no, never mind. This is fine. This is definitely Brittle Hollow. We're in the correct place. Yeah, we've done it. <laughs> I, I thought this was going to be... I thought this was the Sun Station one where you have to go before the sand is there. But no, I, I just got him confused. It's fine. Um, I only have somewhat friendly acquaintances, which I believe... Which my anxiety believes absolutely hate me. They don't... Oh, shit! Pee -pee. Uh, oh, fuck! What have I done? Oh, God. Oh, shit. I can't believe I've done this. I actually can't believe I've done this. You knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Oh my god, we have to do this whole loop again. Oh, at least we found... I guess at least we found the... Uh, I committed the jump. Yeah, I forgot it was going to be upside down. Fuck's sake. It was at that moment he knew he fucked up. Yeah, you're not wrong. Just fucking kill me. We're gonna we're just gonna we're gonna die from high from a fall of significant height. Alright. Take me. There we go. Got pop those kneecaps, boys. Uh, anyway, welcome back to the stream, Pippi. I hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> Jumping is a bad habit, and it, um, and so is being in a time loop. Yeah, I can't really do that. I, that's pretty true. That's true. Yeah, that's that's true. True? That's that's pretty true. I, yeah, that's pretty true. I can't forget the full copy. I can't remember the full copy pasta. He just says true a lot. I think that's basically the meme. Um, but hey, that's okay. Oh... Devin be popping his kneecaps. You're not wrong. How many? I'm curious. One thing I do want to know is, um, how many endings are there in this game? Because I'm curious to know how long I should stream. Why does the uh, glass in the bottom left corner die? I'm assuming... What? What does the glass at the bottom left corner do? I don't know what you mean. We have, like, we're wearing a spacesuit with a visor, but I'm assuming you don't mean the, uh, you know... Please lock on Spirit Hollow, there we go. I'm assuming you're not talking about that, you're talking about the, uh... Something else, right? Because, I mean, we're wearing a visor, so when we jumped... Is that there is glass in your overlay, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a true ending and five other endings, which really just technicalities. Okay, fair enough. More than one. <laughs> it's for bits, I think. Wait, what's for bits? An ending was added in the last patch. Okay, so we won't have access to that one then. So it was the North Pole that had the shortcut, right? Yeah, because that's where the snow is. Professional pilot. Professional landing. Amazing. Okay. We're going to be fucking Speedy Gonzales this time, okay? Um, see, I know it's somewhere where the water is. Does chat spot a hole anywhere? Don't tell me it takes a while to open up like the snow has to melt or some dumb shit. Where? Oh my god, I'm not gonna, it's a little tricky to find that, that's all. Okay. That's good to know. I'm trying to... Fuck, I should have made more note of where we were in relation to that thing. Um, if anyone knows, do fit... Like, this is an acceptable backseating scenario. May, okay, it's not going to be over here. Mainly because I'm incredibly lazy. And uh, <laughs> this is going to take probably a little while. Um, it's upper right somewhere. Upper right. Ah, there it is. Oh, actually, we're in, like, the perfect spot, actually. Huh. Funny how that works sometimes. But you keep jumping, so that has changed. No, it's fine. We found it. Follow the melting water to melt water. <laughs> oh, is that what melt water is? I remember you talking about that last stream. I cannot remember why. So, the black hole controls are just down here. This time, do not fucking jump. Wonderful beat the Ash Twin project. 
Like we're, we've been very speedy, so this time we may actually get back to the Ashtwin before enough sand has been taken up. Which would actually be the dream... Oh my god. Which would actually be the dream scenario. Not gonna lie, watching this is so cozy today. We've got a cold rainstorm, Blanky and Outer Worlds as a mood. Oh, that sounds so fucking cozy. Here's a funny thing, actually. I don't know if anyone else gets this. So, you know, in games, like, typically, for me, this works more when you're playing, like, a survival game. But when you're playing a game, and it's raining on the outside, in... So, there's, like, a rain weather effect in the game. I just, for some reason, if I go get a blanket and some tea, I could just chill and watch the rain from indoors in the game for ages. Like, if you make, like, a little hut in Minecraft, and it's raining in Minecraft, I just go grab a cup of tea, get a blanket, and just watch the rain for a bit out a window. And it's so unbelievably cosy. Here it just burns in a country that's meant to be frost. That sounds... Uh, really? Wait, where'd you live? What country, anyway, if you don't mind uh, sharing? Hell yes. Amen, brother. Ah, I see. A man of culture. A man of taste. Canada. I honestly, I have no idea what the temperament of Canada is supposed to be. I, I should know because I watch a lot of uh, I watch a lot of Northern Lion, and he is mostly bald, but also Canadian. Dreet, welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome to the stream, uh, Breakthrough Gamer. Hope you're having a wonderful day. That is so sad, actually. F. Okay, yeah, we're we're here early. Like we can't even get to the towers yet. That's really funny. Oh, wow. That just means we fucking nailed it. I guess that means we just get to chill. Oh, slow down. We're going to crunch. Big crunch. It's okay. It's okay. But it's actually, you know, we should probably move down a bit so we, our ship doesn't get... You know? You don't want to get... By the planet. That'd be bad. You have three uh, AC units in your house and it's constantly sway. Wow. That doesn't sound very pog champ. I love the fact that Pog is now uh, in... Oh, why am I... There's zero gravity here. I disagree. I just got pulled down by something. I love that Pog is like a word that people have picked up from Twitch. Like, you know when the um, Capital Riots happened in America? I think my favorite tweet I saw was someone just tweeted out not very Poggers America. And I was like, that's a good tweet. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Was that... Oh, no, it was the sun. I was going to say, I thought, thought we saw the Ember Twin go around us, and uh, it wasn't sucking. What's up with that? Okay. This tower's out. But if I remember, I think it's the other side. Yeah, this isn't the tower we want. So in that case, it's this way. Then it should be the Cyclone Tower after this one, then the tower we want after that. Cool. I used to play with Pogs as a kid. Dude, same. That's how you know you're a 90s kid. It's, I, I agree. It's so weird. I'm with, um, I don't know if you know Jim, well, you probably know Jim Sterling. Um, oh, shit. I don't know what her name is these days, actually. She came out as trans, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to call her. But um, either way, they uh, we were talking about how, like, yeah, their, their reference to Pogs is, you know, the little plastic chips you collect. <laughs> and... Pog champ and shit on Twitch initially just confused them, and I hardcore relate to that. But yeah, I still live in a different area of my city. I swear we snowed in like half the winter. Oh yeah, you're in like Norway, right? Pogs were so good. That's the only kind of pog I can get behind. Reject modernity, embrace the tra tradition. Oh my god, that's such a good meme. I'm gonna fucking make that and tweet that out. It'll just be like the Pog Champ face, and then like reject modernity, and then 90s Pogs embrace tradition. Someone's definitely made it in the past already, but like. Fuck it. I came up with the idea organically, okay? <laughs> I don't give a fuck if it's been done before. And it definitely, definitely has, but hey. Bruh, Pogs were so good. It's true, it's true. Reject Devin, embrace Pag. True. Embrace Pag. In indeed. I agree. Embrace Pag Champ. Sorry, Pagchomp. There we go. One of these days, the sand will be gone, and we'll be able to actually make progress on our mission, boys. One of these days! I'm not just... It definitely hasn't, like... We're not just missing something, right? 
Reject uh, humanity, become monk. Now there's an opinion I can get behind. Me and my friend uh, that I live with in this flat always talk about uh, rever reverting back to monk. That's that's my actual political alignment. That's the one thing I do truly believe in. Revert to monk is just too good. Are you going to stream Splitgate with the homies on a Friday at some point, Devin? So what I was thinking... So, okay, just for those who don't know, because everybody's here today. Hello, everyone. Thank you for returning. It's very, uh, it's very cool of you all. Um, but what we normally do, for those who don't know, we normally do a community stream on Fri the last Friday of every month, where me and everybody in chat plays games together, and we stream it, and we banter, and it's a lot of fun. But um, recently, we've had, like, but until the Outer Wild streams, there's been less people, like, active in the community. Um, so what I've been doing was I was like, you know what, we're going to cancel the community streams, and instead, just have community games. So every Friday, I'll be in the Discord and I'll be chilling and we can play some games together. Um, so I think I'm going to keep to that for a bit. And um, maybe we'll, re community re uh, streams will return at some point. But definitely not this Friday. Um, mainly because I think this Friday I'm actually busy. I can't remember what I'm doing exactly. Oh yeah, no, me and Chloe are going on a date this Friday. So I actually can't. Um, but, um, but we'll do that in the future for sure. Air Ariversary? Wait. Air is very. Air is very what? That's the question I have. I feel like I'm walking into bait right now. Air is very Ligma balls or these nuts or some shit. It's coming. Just get ready, chat. Um. But yeah. It's air. Okay, cool. Alright, fair enough. Play Outer Wilds. Welcome to the stream. And also, I am. Um, yes, I agree though. Do play Outer Wilds. But yeah, so basically, um, community games are a thing that will happen. They won't happen this Friday because, you know, it's just not really that much point, honestly, in my opinion. And I won't be about. But if you guys want to play some shit in Discord, go for it. Don't let me stop you. Don't let me be, be a, you know, a big old Debbie Downer. Wait, fuck. I've actually completely lost track of what tower we were stalking. I think it was this one. It's the very air itself. We got air here. Fantastic. It's true. Air is... Oh, it's this tower over here. Okay. We did it, lads. We did it, lads. Two loops and a fuck ton of sand later. We did it. Okay. I, I forgot where I was going with that whole run. It did have a point. I was going somewhere with it, but I guess I just talked myself out of my own point, which, to be honest, is pretty pretty normal for me. Um, I'm not going to pretend like that's, you know, out of the ordinary. I got a piece, uh, but glad to see how lively things are. Yeah, no, just sticking around um, Breakthrough Gamer. Obviously, I always appreciate it whenever you swing by and make me feel all tingly inside. So, <laughs> cheers and I'll see you around, alright? I need to check out your stream again, actually, like, more. I need to find a slot where I can actually do it. Because I kind of want to see a bit of Humankind gameplay anyway. Because it seemed like an interesting game. Especially as someone who was never that interested in Civ. Tingly in your pad hole. See, this guy gets it. Precisely. Precisely. But yeah, I'll see you around. Stay safe, bud, alright? But, um... Oh my god. Yeah, I can't remember the point I was going to make. But yeah, basically, um, if anybody here is interested in community games and you want to hang out, um, then we do usually do that last Friday of every month. But yeah. But yes, sir. Cheers. Alright, peace out. And also, yeah, I am um, I won't be streaming Splitgate, Knifey Man, but at some point, yeah, we probably will play Splitgate, because that game is just fucking awesome. And it's one of the few games I'm actually, like, semi-competent at, so that's pretty sick, right? I've been playing so much Splitgate, actually, as well. Like, it's been my game of choice recently, for sure. It is very fun. I mean, it makes sense, because at the end of the day, I like, 90% of my gaming, I guess, teenage years was um, Halo. I had a mate in school who was just, like, incredibly you into Halo. Fuck? Oh my god, that is beyond kind of you. You've been in here for, like, five minutes. What well, was it the beard that sold you? I know it's very small, but it is reasonably well trimmed for once in my life. Was it the baldness? But thank you very much. Welcome to the Subber Clubber, bud. I honestly appreciate that more than you can imagine. That's ridiculously quick, though. But yeah, thank you very much, Errors Very. I guess I should say what I actually do. Like, I, I don't know if you've seen the About Me section. I literally wrote it up today, or rewrote it today, because it used to be very different. Was it the baldness? I mean, let's be... Look, people can't resist baldness. I don't know what to tell you, man. It's just a fact, all right? Um, but yeah, basically, I do, like, variety, indie stuff. Um, that's what we've been doing lately. So, like, the last games I played, we did... Um, 
Fury, we've played Cave Story, which I gotta say, I was blown away by how much I actually enjoyed Cave Story. I don't know, it's like, you lot, if you're in here for Out Wilds, that's like a new indie game. So if you're not familiar with Cave Story, because it's quite an old indie game at this point, if you liked Undertale, go check out Cave Story. It's crazy how much inspiration um, there was directly from Cave Story. Like, both those games have an incredibly similar sense of humor. Both those games have, like, a similar tone as well. Like, it, that, it's just crazy. My boyfriend is also bald. Uh, very po uh, pot uh, Sorry, very potent to Pat Pat. Yeah, and I get a lot of pats from my girlfriend, so... Checks out. Us baldies do, uh... Do get pats a lot. All right, I think... So this is the way we want to go. I never get... I never... I've never petted a bald guy. You need to find yourself a bald guy, my guy. It's an experience. It's based as fuck. Wait, how much have you played this game? Um, quite a lot. We're at, like... Four... I don't know. This is, like... Maybe... This is stream six, I think. So about like 14 hours in, I'd say, roughly. You know, I think we've already seen that projection stone, actually. Man, there. Oh wow! It. Oh, you can see right down into there. Oh wow! Oh, oh, oh pog. Anyway, um, let's read some shit, shall we? One day I'm gonna start Undertale, um, start over Undertale and play it in a completely different way to my first playthrough. If honestly, Undertale's one of those games. If you haven't played it multiple times, you basically haven't played it. Cause I'm in the same camp as you, and I was like, I enjoyed it, but I haven't actually explored the just depths it gets to. Um, so like one day I will sit down and play it for like an entire, you know, like 13 hours in a row, um, and have a good time. But yeah, uh, anyway, let's do some reading. All right, everybody, sit down, get your cocos out. Get, get yourself a blanket, turn off the lights, light a little candle, maybe get some incense and stuff. Devin's gonna start reading some some stories, alright? Stories, some fucking tales from the Nomai. Get cozy, boys, okay? Anyway, where am I taking this first... Okay, so Root, where am I taking this first pair of warp cores? And where am I... T uh, sorry, and where am I taking the remaining pairs once they're ready? Clary, all of the black coal cores go to Ash Twin. They are for the warp towers being constructed there. Root, my gratitude. In that case, poke Clary. I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. Clary, poke. I'll return. Uh, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to the Ash Twin. Just make sure Yarrow receives it. The White Hole cores are uh, are for six warp receivers, which will all be on different astral bodies. Yarrow can give you their exact locations. So, I assume that is the Ash Twin project, and um, those are the towers that teleport us to different places. I don't, I'm not sure, but I think that might be what that is. Okay. Clarion, uh, poke. Clarion Root. Kindly tune the ailments, oh sorry, alignments on each pair of warp cores as I finish them. I've tuned, uh, Clary. I've tuned the first pair to activate when its warp tower is aligned with Brittle Hollow. This will d drastically speed. Uh, this will drastically speed future deliveries to Ash Twin. Clary, and before anyone comments, yes, I'm aware this reduces the distance between Yarrow and me. Root, it looks like the towers on Ash Twin respond to only five ailments. Oh, sorry, five alignments. I don't know why I keep reading this, that as ailments, but anyway, uh, only five alignments when there are six warp receivers. Is this a mistake? Poke. No, that's correct. Have you seen the schematic in the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin? It depicts which tower is meant to align with which astral body. So that we have already seen that. Um, that was that's the image we always refer to. So I guess the one he's missing is the uh, you know it's the Sun Station, right? That's the assumption anyway. Ash Twin Project Stone. All right. Well, we got to do the. Uh, I think we've already seen the project. I think we've already done this stone to be honest elsewhere. But let's have a let's have a look just to double check. Yeah, it's this fucking room, again. What is this shit? Have they, I can't tell if they've changed. I'm gonna shower BRB. All right, no worries, I'll see you in a bit. Still got plenty of streams to come back to, so don't even sweat it. Enjoy the water, very true. Enjoy the cleanliness. I still don't know where we are. We're in a ball in space spinning, that's for sure. Whatever we're in, it's in space and it is spinning very quickly. Those are the only two things I can say with absolute certainty. But I still have no idea what this is. It's the Ash Twin Project Stone. I mean, that's got to be a clue, right? So we, in that case, we've probably already read this. Okay, oh, I guess not. Clary, I have good news, Yarrow. 
The advanced warp core is ready to be installed at the heart of the Ashwin project. Uh, this projection is a, a sound is a is a soundtrack. True. Yeah, right, I'm intrigued. Love. Uh, I'm intrigued. Love. <laughs> okay. Apparently, this guy is from fucking uh, Plymouth. Everyone on Ash Twin is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. Poke. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? Yeah, oh, that was Yarrow. Poke. The core's durability could be still Im could still be improved. I need more time. Clary. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Wow. Fucking hell. Calm down. Clary. Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary. Uh, and her design... Her design work is uh, beautifully clever. Alright. Good to know. Alright, I, I think that's everything here. Um, of course, I was expecting a little bit more. But I'm not exactly complaining either way. Wait, really? The gravity here is strong enough to... Okay, I thought I would fall into the... You know, into the uh, glass. But that's okay. Alright, cool. Um, what is... That's the thing we always teleport to, right? Okay, I actually don't, there wasn't as much information in this as I was expecting. I gotta say, it was still pretty sick, and I'm glad we finally went to it. But there wasn't like a ton of information or anything, that's for sure. Or was there? Did I, I mean, maybe. Shit, if there was, I missed it. <laughs> At least I think so, anyway. But yeah, I feel like you could say that after almost any discovery of new stuff in this game, and I'd just be like, oh no, what have I missed? Because there's always something, you know? Plus, I'm an unobservant fuck, so that doesn't help particularly. Okay. Wait, is my sh my ship is on this planet. Okay, it's 88 meters away. Let's read the log, first things first. The log will probably tell us if there was something new on there that I just missed, actually. Okay, we've been to the Black Coal Forge and it connects to the Ash Twin Project in some way. We know that now. This is the... These are the... S no, it did tell us something. So these are connected to the five um, things that... You know, they talked about a sixth one, didn't they? There are six warp receivers all on astral bodies connected to the towers on Ash Twin. So, that means... The Tells and Astrim respond to only five uh, body alignments, even though there are six warp receivers. Yeah, so there's a sixth one there somewhere. So I was wrong. That the sun station is under the first five. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no, I gotta use my brain. Okay, the Hanging City is now fully explored, so I was correct that the Black Hole Forge is the last thing we had to do there. Okay, alright. The Advanced Warp Core was successfully forged for installation at the heart of the Ash Twin project. Huh. That implies to me, five does not equal six confirmed. You're goddamn right. Um, okay, interesting. So that means, it says at the, oh, wait, fuck, where does it say it was installed? At the heart of the Ash Twin project, right? Doesn't say here. Maybe it said here? Breaking bad reference. In ab you're goddamn right. <laughs> anyway. An advanced warp called successfully for Trune Station at the heart of the Ashton Project. So, yeah, I, was there... I feel like there were caves somewhere here. So, I reckon if we wait on this planet for long enough, we'll find a way to go down to the core. And then there'll be some shit there that we haven't seen yet. Hang on, let's have a little look. Were the quantum caves on this planet, or were they somewhere else? I realised that I just did two uh, qu three quarter degree turns to do... I did that twice instead of just doing a quarter degree turn the other way. Not quarter degree, you know what I mean. A three quarter turn. Okay. The know my mines... The know my mind ore from this site constructs the shell of the core of the Ash Twin. Okay, so that's not what we're looking for. The high energy lab is not here. That is on the Ember Twin, right? I think. Hmm. All right, let's just chill on our, on Ash Twin and have a little look, I guess. I, yeah, I guess we're just gonna wander around here um, and see if we can find anything that would resemble a way to get 
down or more into the uh, Ash Twin core. I don't feel like I've seen anything yet, like in overall in this playthrough, but it's hard to say because this, this is one of those games where if you miss one little like entrance to something, that's an entire thing you're missing, right? I like how this is going. <laughs> okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Me too, bud. Me too. Oh, fuck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, base hut. The rock bridge protec. You gotta respect that. This puzzle got me to quit out a while. But that's not what I want to hear. What's your current objective or what are you trying to solve? So, there's a sixth um, for a month. Oh, fucking hell, wow. There's a sixth um, warp receiver. And it said something about it being installed at the heart of the Ash Twin project. So we're going to wait for all the sand to go and see what's at the in, um, like in the center. If that doesn't help us, then I think we have to assume it's on a different planet. Um, or maybe not, I, I guess not necessarily a planet, but you got know what I mean. A different, like, some other place, basically. Good objective. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. Ah, we can, I didn't know we could get into these towers. Or maybe I did and then I forgot. It, I, I could believe either, to be honest. What was that? It was a little exit. I think this is just a viewing platform, basically. Okay. So there wasn't a whole heck of a lot here. The Ember Twin do be getting pretty sandy, though. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, if I'm correct... I would expect to see a pretty clear entrance, to be honest. I know it's the while ago that grabs the, the grab lifts look different from the source they are. Uh, they are. Prepare for epic end of the world music. Yeah, well, I guess it's gonna gonna hit pretty soon, eh? Okay. Well, if I'm correct, then. That means you don't really have much time to explore whatever's down there. Okay. Alright, I think I'm wrong. I don't think there's anything here. Um, at least that's not the... I don't think there is anyway. I guess we'll see. Hmm. I guess we found ourselves in a pickle, boys. Here it is. Yep. Man, you called it almost exactly... And back for epic end of the world music. Well, at least we got the, you know, we got the, we got premier seats to the end of the star system. Do you remember what the core is made of? Uh, white hole? Uh, white hole matter, I guess? No, mineral ore, right? They had to, no, that was from the Ember Twin, I thought. They had to mine the mineral ore from, um, it's not quantum stuff, is it, by any chance? I, based on my answer, I think what we should do is read the log. Because <laughs> the answer is evidently not. I clearly do not remember. At all. You're getting there, read the log. Cool, alright. Wise, yes. It is funny. Oh my god, I ran over my cable lags and my chair. Um, it is kind of funny how... Um, just reading shit helps so much in so many contexts and people just refuse to do it. And I include myself in this, absolutely. Um, I used to play, when I, so I went to um, uni at um, Plymouth. Here we go. Did you go to the place? Well, the, well, we went to the Black Hole Forge, yeah, if that's what you mean. Om nom nom nom. Consume me. All encompassing or void. But yeah, I used to play Magic the Gathering at Plymouth, and um, the guy there, basically, uh, whenever there was like a rules conflict that could easily be resolved by reading the card, he would say just like, dude, just read the fucking card. Like, every time. I think, it, what was it? It's RF... Wait. Read RTFC. Yeah, that was it. RTFC. Read the fucking card. And 99% of the time, that would resolve the rules conflict. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, well that's me. Cheers, bros. Alright, peace out, great for gamer. Cheers for stopping by.
The place is how you can describe any place in the entire game. Yeah, I can't really disagree with that one. That ball is... A no, it's not a ball, though. It's a thing that points up. It's the... Qu it was the quantum moon. <laughs> I keep pushing uh, to read because it took me ages to sit down uh, with the log myself and I kicked myself for not doing it sooner. Yeah, th it's very useful. Did you go to the place and do the thing yet? Why, yes, sir. I have been to many the place and done many of the thing. Do the thing. Okay. The Nomai sealed something away. Ah! So they sealed something in the core of the Ash Twin. Nomai planned to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. I see. It's Q. It was the quantum moon. <laughs> An advanced warp core was successfully forged for installation at the heart. Okay. So. We can get to the heart of the Ash Twin project, but the only way we can do it, I guess, is by finding whatever the other side of this receiver is. That's the assumption, anyway. How the fuck we do that, I have no idea. So, how many threads do we even have to pull on now? Because I feel like the answer is not many. We know how to get to the sixth location. This uh, quantum shrine needs to be at the northern pole, I think. So we know how to do that. I don't even remember where the quantum caves were. Apparently there's more to explore there, though. Uh, the lake bed cave is a mysteriously vanished... Sorry. Oh, no, my mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of dry lake bed at Ember Cave. Okay, at the North Pole. I understand. The Sunless City. What, what was the Sunless City? I don't even remember. That looks like a place in... Oh, there's... Oh, okay, that's in the Ember Twin. That's where we, um, yes. Okay, that's an ember twin. Still haven't made it to escape pod three. That's where you found the fossil fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the three Nomai escape to a pod, uh, one of the three Nomai escape pods never made it out of Dark Bramble. You know what? We've, like, barely gone to Dark Bramble at all. Maybe we should go to Dark Bramble. You've also not been, uh, to Dark to Bramble much worth taking a trip. Yeah. There you go, yeah. Great minds think alike and all that, I guess. Alright, let's go Dark Bramble. I still don't really get what we're supposed to do there. But, I mean, I guess that's part of the fun, right? Oh, there it is. Off in Wait, is that the fucking Quantum Moon? It looks like it. Does Dark Bramble have a... Does Dark Bramble have a... Do you remember what the Gnome I set up? Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it is the Quantum Moon. It just went to the other side. Please don't consume me, son. Dark Bramble, the friendliest place ever. <laughs> yep. Okay. Is that the quantum moon? I can't tell. Because if it is, I'll go there. I don't think Dark Bramble has a moon, so I'm assuming this is the quantum moon. Yeah, that's the quantum moon, baby. Okay, so this time, don't use the landing cam. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghettios. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. What in the fuck is hap- Whoa! This is different. Uh... What is this? This is not the quantum moon I'm familiar with. Holy fuck, what happened here? Is that why he said, oh no? Also, if you're ever going to say, oh no, in my chat, you have to say, oh, oh, spaghettios. Otherwise, I will not respect your concerns, okay? Just, just letting you know. What in the fuck is going on? Oh, hello. Hello, Quantum Shrine. Fancy seeing you here. Do you remember what the moon looked like last time? Yeah, not like this. Oh, they, it looks like whatever planet it's orbiting. That has to be it, because it looks kind of like Giant's Deep, actually. Yeah, because it's a dark bramble, it's different. I understand. Okay, so you know what? The text will probably be different. Never mind. Okay, you have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of the sixth location. 
So we need this to be on the northern... We need it to be on the northern hemisphere, I think. Let me go... Hang on. Oh, fuck. We can't get there, though. It's full of dark bramble! Maybe I was too nice there. Nah, nah. I, I think I would have clicked that anyway, because this does look like dark bramble. And the last one did look kind of like giant steep with all the water, so... I think I actually would have clocked that, to be completely honest with you. Okay. Many know I went to pilgrimage during uh, a uh, secret location to explore the sixth location. The shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck we're going to do that. This is like the worst planet for it to be orbiting to try and get it on the north pole. Because like, look at this shit. What is... Oh fuck, this is a terror... I recognized how bad the idea I had was the second I did it. Oh, whatever. I guess we might as well go back to our original plan, eh? <laughs> At least we got loads of fuel. It ain't much, but it's something. My god, I can't believe I just fucking did that. To be fair, though, it's not like this is a particularly good planet to try and get it on the northern hemisphere of, you know? Oh, sorry, on the, to the North Pole of, you know? Seems like it would have been kind of a pain in the dick. Okay, I was moving quicker than I realised. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Also, I just realised my camera's actually angled a little bit high. There we go. That's better. Yep. Ripperoni pepperoni. You're not wrong. Oh, goodness me. It's the- we blinked. The quantum moon- it's still there, baby! I, why did I- I don't know why- I, I should have just kept looking up. That was really dumb. Whatever. You learned an important clue about the moon. Well, we know it now is different depending on what planet it's orbiting, so we don't want to be there when it's dark brambled, basically, is what I've learned currently. Oh, we also know it's always orbiting a planet, right? Because it has to have something to replicate, kind of. I knew you'd be here, you son of a bitch. Motherfuck. No! <laughs> oh my god. I actually don't fucking believe it. We didn't fly up high enough. F. Okay, so it must be at a different planet now then, right? Oh god, your hands are so cold. No! Chloe! Chloe! I can't get my hand out! Yeah, your hand's cold, man. <laughs> what were you doing? Were you just like handling... What the fuck? Is that the owl rock? It doesn't look like it. It is. Were you just handling like ice? No, I'm playing PlayStation. Oh, okay. That's the Ash Twin, dude. I'm playing original Lara Croft. How is your hand that cold when you're playing the PlayStation? Oh, the door's open. Oh. And you thought Harry Potter 1 was janky? Lara Croft actually requires you to like do stuff with some precision. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the early Lara Croft... Well, I mean, any early platform is going to have that problem to some extent. Um, but yeah, the early Tomb Raider games are not uh, <laughs> are not kind on the controls. I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah, you missed the pretty funny little moment. Um, we landed on the quantum moon and then we fucked it. We need, we, were we need to use the rule of the sixth location. But this is major spoilers for you, by the way, Chloe. Sorry, I'm just talking. Sorry. Okay. <gasps> no, Chloe. She has really cold hands. It's so mean. Everybody roast mother. She's being very bad today. It's not okay. Mother, I have more power here. <laughs> okay, okay. The plan was do dark bramble, by the way. Sorry, but then we got distracted by uh, the quantum moon. And then we learned some shit about the quantum moon. Like, it oh, God. Like, it replicates whatever planet it's on, which is interesting. Well, I don't think you can land on the quantum moon, can you? Um, we just did? I don't know what to tell you, Chief. <laughs> did I just teach you something? Okay. We need to get you to the Northern Hemisphere. Oh, sorry, the Northern Bowl, even. Wait, how- Oh, no, son of a bitch. Please, please. We did it. We saved ourselves. Let's fucking go. Ow, my legs. Oh, wait, how the fuck do we do that? 
How do we get it to the Northern Pole if all of them are going to be filled with bullshit like this? Shit. It's still a puzzle, dude. There is a way. The tornado doesn't move, does it? The tornado is the one... Hang on. That's the shuttle. No, I don't think I have to go up top. I tried that with the last time we were on the quantum moon and it, it led to pain. <laughs> took me a long time to figure it out. Yeah, I think it might take me a while to figure it out. Um. Oh, by the way, yeah, just to let you know, we're doing no backseating as well. So if you, if you want to say something fairly like spoilery, just like, you know, try not to. <laughs> I understand the temptation. It's a very cool game. Look, I mean, look, this is going to sound real dumb. I'm just going to try walking into it. Okay, Tornado says no. Yeah, Tornado, very much not a fan. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's not like you've spoiled anything major yet. It's like pushing two magnets together. Yeah, I can't really deny that. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Fuck. You just bounced off weirdly. Well, okay, so this is... But we know the rule of the sixth location. It was the thing we found at the quantum tower, which is why that's there. Ah! There's a clue! So this was on Giant Steep in that tower. That was where we learned the rule of quantum imaging. The quantum tower is where we learned the rule of the sixth location. Where the fuck is that? What is that? That looks like Ember Twin. Are you sure the North Pole is non-accessible everywhere, though? Don't don't break my brain. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's go have a look. Hang on. Okay. That's a good idea, though. We should just explore it. Read the logs on the Ember Twin once more. Okay, okay, okay. I will do. There's still a lesson to be had. Clearly. Yeah, the North Pole is inaccessible the whole way around. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I think I get what you're getting at. So if we go back to our ship... I don't think you found the Ember tw Twin thing yet. Let's read the logs and see. If the Ember Twin thing is the quantum imaging, then the answer is no. I think the only thing I can think is because we're already on the quantum moon, we know where the, the North Pole is relative to us. So maybe what we could do is fly up and fly directly onto the North Pole. That's the only thing I can think of. Obviously, we have to make sure we take an image of the um, quantum moon. Otherwise, that will not work. But... I think this is worth a shot. Does that get, I think that counts, right? So hang on, where's the North Pole? You were told to... F Whoa, is this getting a little too spoilery now? Um, so I don't know what you mean by you were always told to land on the South Pole? Was I? Let me, let's just check the logs real quick. Hang on. Or do you mean on the South Pole of the Ember Twin? I don't think he's read that passage. What are these connections? Oh, they actually... Oh, I didn't know you could read these connections. Oh, interesting. Okay. I don't know if that's necessarily that useful, but good good to know they're there, I guess. Um, Okay, hang on. Then I built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid the pilgrimage to the sixth location. No, 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 my one... Okay, we've already... Oh, that's just that's just that. Okay, no, so they... Never mind. They, they aren't unique or new. Um... 
Where the fuck is the Ember Twin? Hang on. It's this way. Okay. There's more to read at the Sunless Sea. There's more to read in the Quantum Caves. We've not found that. I don't think any of this gives us anything to really go on. Don't think too much about it until you find a relevant, the relevant lesson. Okay. I will try just flying on... I'm just going to try flying into the north uh, thing. Okay, we, our scout's already out, actually. Hang on. Okay, so... Where is the tornado? Was that it? I think that was it. Oh, hang on. Wait, I need to go back. I exited by accident. Jesus. Ow. I'm on a madman's voyage right now. Okay. There it is. Okay, so let's try and fly down onto that. So that should, in theory, be, like, roughly here, I guess. Oh, shit. Hopefully I haven't lost it. That did not work. <laughs> I get the impression this planet's kind of in flux anyway. Like, I don't think flying onto the North Pole will work like that. And that seems to be uh, true currently. So I guess we still have... I think we just still have more to learn before we can do anything here properly, to be honest. Oh, frick. There we go, it's fine. Yeah, we're all good. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I think there's more we need to learn, isn't there? We know the rule of the sixth location. The shrine on. Yeah, it must be on the moon's north pole. I don't. I don't know. I don't get it. Okay. Hang on. I need. Let's find the quantum shrine just one more time, real quick. I want to have another look at that image that was there. There it is. Okay. Okay. So we've already been there and we found the clue for that. Okay. For, so for quantum entanglement... What does that look like, honestly? I have no idea. What, what the fuck is this? What are you? It doesn't look anywhere specifically. It look I mean it, the only thing it looks like is vaguely like one of the Ash twins. Or sorry, one of the twins. You've encountered something in a cave before. I have. Oh, my ship's on the South Pole, isn't it? There it is. Hmm. Let me know if a backseat too hot. It's difficult to say something without saying anything. Oh yeah, no, don't worry. I know backseating is a uh, is a talent. It's like uh, yeah, backseating properly is is difficult. Wait, hang on. That thing kind of looks like the shard from the thing. You know what? We're going to go here. I think that's where we're going to go. Is It's marked on the HUD. I don't know if that means it'll be marked in space. But that does look like the thing from the uh, from what we were just looking at. Okay, Quantum Cave's that way. It does mark it. Wonderful. Okay. Well, we know what we're trying to explore next. Hopefully we don't bop into the sun. <laughs> That's always the funniest shit when it happens. Everyone in chat just goes sploosh. Like, yep, you're not wrong. We're melting in lava. It's a wonderful time. I guess it's not really lava, actually, is it? I don't know what the sun's made of. Just gases, I guess. I have no fucking idea. I'm a streamer, not a scientist, damn it. Sploosh, there you go.
should be in landing mode. There we go. Any hints or backseating given my chat instead of the game are actually technically spoilers or backseating. That's true. But I don't mind, a, I don't mind like a bit of backseating. When I say backseating, I don't think of it as like a very literal thing. Think of it more of like, you know, like in the spirit of the rule, I guess. Like a couple tips here and there, probably fine. But, you know, don't obviously don't drop major plot points, for example. Shit like that. You guys are smart enough. I'm sure you can work it out. You guys are smart and loyal, okay? You smart, you loyal. God, DJ Khaled is so based. Anyway. Oh, wow, that's very... Oh, it's this thing. It's back. So wait, okay. I remember it freaked me the fuck out the first time we saw it. Okay. Stars are basically glowing balloons. Fair. Okay, Mallory, friends, if you find any sign of Coalesce, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during our research trip and has been missing ever since. Mallor, some of us from the Thunder City are here to help search for Coalesce. Can you tell us more about your expeditions? You have my gratitude, Burr. Coalesce and I are studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about this unique and wonderful rock that visits several, loca uh, several different caves in the area. When I was young, Coalesce lost... R lem wait, sorry. Where was young Coalesce lost? Oh, holy shit. Thank you for the uh, quantum stuff is creepy. Quantum stuff is creepy. Hey, yeah, you're not wrong. Hey, thank you for the bits here. I very much appreciate that. Um, where was young Coalesce lost, Malor? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry, be uh, dry lake bed at North Pole. It happened in an instant and without warning. I turned away from Coalesce to examine a sample, and when he, when he turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. I had a limited supply of air. Uh, no, and a... An owner. We got it. <laughs> I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis. We'll learn more by examining the northern lake bed cave where Coalesce disappeared. Touch quickly, everyone. We have no time to squander. Okay. Well, there's nothing else in this cave. Just this rock. And it doesn't really tell us a whole heck of a lot. So my assumption is we have to go to the lake bed cave to work out... I, my assumption is somewhere in the lake bed cave is quantumly entangled with, with this area here. That's the guess, anyway. Um, in fact, actually, this leads you directly to the North Pole, interestingly enough. So, the lake bed cave must be somewhere around here. We might be too late, because the sand is filling up in this area. Yeah, because look, there's stairs going down. I reckon we have to come back here on another loop. I reckon we need to go down here real quick. There's nothing in here, is there? Plus, yeah, when, there's not really a whole heck of a lot here. And also, um, at least I don't think there's a lot in here. And either way, the sand's going to come up, so I don't think... I can help. Oh, wait, hang on. Have we been here? Coalesce is missing. He missed... Uh, he vanished from the lake bed cave, one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can't go there now. Um... When I'm unable to find any trace of him, I don't know how much hair he had when he disappeared. I beg any friend recording this to help us recover Coalesce. I was lurking more game, but this guy doesn't know what stars are made of. Guess I got to take a nap after hearing that. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Welcome to the stream, by the way, the dude. Um, Malor, this rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique colour and texture appears to be identical to a rock I met earlier. Wait, what did that say? This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? So that must be the, the, the rock. Okay, here's my guess. That rock, I think, only to, only appears in two locations. I believe because it is quantumly... Oh my god. I think I, I'm having a brainwave, dude. I'm having a... I'm having a mind beam. I think... You can... Okay, okay. I reckon the rock is quantumly entangled with one other location. I also think you can probably go on the rock somehow, and when it moves, you can move with it. I reckon that's what you can do with the shrine somehow, and then the shrine will move itself while you're in it to the, um, to the northern pole. That's my guess. I have no idea if that's accurate, but that's my guess. I might be miles off, but... Illuminati eyes. 
I just got a bra and like a thousand Illuminati eyes. I don't know how to feel about this. Anyway, uh, wasn't this rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? Uh, we plan to re-examine the Northern Lake Bed Cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update. Malor and I went back to the Lake Bed Cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. That means the rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. But I think it can only appear in two locations. And I think that's how this game does quantum entanglement. That's my guess, anyway. Okay, never mind. It can now appear in more. Because it's here and it was... Wait, hang on. Let's just try jumping on the rock. Fuck. Hang on. Okay, it's back. Oh, the cactus has moved. Chill. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, on the rock. Look away. Okay, the rock is still there if we're touching it. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, this is what I am doing is clear. Wait, did we move? Hang on, we, we moved. I think we moved. I think it worked. Guys, we moved. Oh my god. It worked. There's no text here. We're in a new place. Oh my god, I was correct. How curious. The rock took me over um, to a new location. I wonder why this happened. I wonder if my... Uh, sorry. I wonder if I myself became quantum... Briefly, when the rock carried me here, this seems to the clearest explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings. Meaning I must be in complete darkness. Okay, it was when I turned my torch off. That's it. Okay. I'm bringing my mentor here to see this. Malor is here now too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with the quantum object and they move together. Friends coalesce as this has discovered a new quantum rule and has also promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance and exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The Wandering Rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. This is literally the meme from fucking Spongebob. Oh baby, it's a rock. The prospectors used to ride these babies all day long or whatever it was. Do you remember, you know? When when Spongebob, you know, in the really good episode where they deliver a pea delivers a pizza with Spongebob? Okay, I don't know how we exit, but whatever. There's probably more cave to it. Never mind. There is no more cave to explore. Really? That's it? It's just that? The rock is a lifesaver. You're not wrong. Okay, well, fair enough. Wonder how many locations this will take me to. Is it only? Is it just between those two? Yeah, I guess it must just be between those two. Wait, no. There's three locations, right? Hang on. I don't think we budged. We did budge. There's three locations. Okay. Interesting, and it seems to go to them randomly. Okay, alright, well, we are... So, I, okay, I know what we need to do on the quantum moon, then. We just gotta get into the shrine, we gotta close the door, and we turn off the flashlight, go out, and we should be at the northern hemisphere. That's got... Oh, fuck. Oh, no, that's pulling it down, it's actually fine. I do not fear you. Where's my ship, dude? Ship 295 meters out. He's sick. Okay, so I, we figured it out, I think. It'll be so funny if we get back there and it's like, there's still more to learn here. <laughs> Giga brain. Now to see if it works. Yeah. You gotta admit, when I gave my hypothesis and everyone in chat was like, bruh, and then Illuminati eyes... You guys were so fucking... You were. You guys were fucking rock hard for my IQ then, weren't you? Don't lie to me. I know you absolutely loved it. You're all like, oh my god, he's actually like... A goddamn... G Dude, I should take up a physics PhD. It's the only logical explanation, like, next logical step, right? We're quite deep in this loop, but if we can find the quantum moon, I suppose we should give it a shot. Um, 
I don't know what else there is to really do at the minute. Um, there probably is stuff. But there definitely is stuff. But hey, to be honest, this is why I watch streamers play this game first time. To work out who the Giga Chads are. Who got the brain. And who got... Oh, there it is. And who got the dumb. It's on Dark Bramble, our favourite one. Gonna take a shower now, don't die in the sun, Devin. That's my favourite bit, though. Getting to experience the feeling of discovery over. Yeah, fair. Heike has a thing for Giga Brains. True, true. Clearly. That sun looks like it's about to go boom. Yeah, the music started, hasn't it? I can't turn around, can I? Wait, hang on. I'm being kink-shamed. Hey, this is a kink-friendly zone, alright? You're never being kink-shamed here, my friend. Oh shit, it's gonna land on the quantum moon. I mean, it vanished. Is the sun about to pop, then? I can't tell if this is the sun's about to pop music or not. Whatever, let's try it. Wait, no, don't go back out. For oh, fuck's sake. I'll never have a good landing on this planet. It's actually not possible. Okay. I've worked out your fucking secrets. Where are you, Quantum Shrine? I know how to abuse you now. Yes. Fucking based. Wait. But we can't close it, though, can we? We can't close the door. Will this close? It will! Sick. Okay. Where am I? This doesn't look like the Northern Hemisphere, lads. Moon is not a planet. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's just like your opinion. I feel like we're not moving. But we definitely are moving. Wait. I was about to say, we're on a different planet altogether. Or like, it's orbiting a different planet. Wait, hang on. Oh my god. We're... We're not tra... We're not teleporting between locations on the quantum moon. We're teleporting between planets. Moons aren't really planets are fundamentally built. Yeah, whatever, nerd. Oh my god, that's okay. But then how do we get it to the northern... I guess we have to try every planet and see if any of the northern poles are actually, like, unoccupied. Whatever nerd says the Giga Brain. Yeah, you get it. Okay, where are we at? Where am I? We're on Brittle Hollow. Okay, we haven't looked at the Brittle Hollow North Pole. Let's try it. You know what? We should probably take a picture of this tower just so we don't have to chase it every time. There we go. Oh my god. Wow, the Brittle Hollow Quantum Moon is fucking crazy. What the fuck? I don't- okay, you can't- there's no way you can access that. Like, there is a 0% chance this is the planet you're meant to do it on. Fuck, I have no idea what we need it to be orbiting. Um, wonder what will happen to our scout, actually. This will be fun. Bye, scout! Everybody wave goodbye to the scout! Wait, there's a light? There we go. The scout stayed in place, maybe? Dude, where the fuck am I? <gasps> We're at the vessel! But I can't get out! We're at the vessel, I think! I mean, the star system's about to blow up, but we made it. But I don't know how, how do we get out? What the fuck? Man, this was a mind-blowing revelation. 
Take me somewhere else, quick. I want to see if this follows a pattern. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. So we're at Dark Bramble. Close again? Quick, 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 quick. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on. Giant Steep. It does follow a pattern. So Brittle Hollow is the next one. You can use your flashlight instead of the door. You're a smart man. We didn't move. We're on. We're still on giant steep. Nah, it doesn't work. You have to use the door by the looks. Yeah. No, we're still on giant steep. Okay, we just didn't move. Well, either way, embrace death. Oh my god. Okay, well, we learned a lot. And I mean, like, a lot. But I have no idea. Like, may maybe it was something that was added in the later version. Because I'm still on an early version. Maybe, um... I have no idea how to use that knowledge we have. I really, really thought that the tower would be shifting between places as opposed to... Fuck, how do we do that then? The North Pole must be fucked on all of them. I guess it doesn't... I'll leave you here streaming, right? See you around. I guess it doesn't move once the star explodes. Well, yeah, that might be it. That could be it as well, yeah. Um, yeah, cheers for sticking around, life man. I'll see you around, alright? Peace out. Man, um... Fuck, I mean... Fuck, I... Th I mean, we still haven't been to the lake bed cave, so I guess it might still be worth going there, but... What the fuck are you supposed to do? You know what? I've I've just clicked. I just fuck. It. I'm a goddamn genius. Are you ready? Okay. We've worked out the quantum entanglement, so we now know how to get to the vessel. That's what the sixth location is. So what you have to do is you have to use what we have just learned about to shift the te the spire between planets, and eventually you get to the vessel. That's why quantum entanglement is the final clue. So we're missing the middle clue. We don't know how to get it to move. We don't know how to get it to move to the Northern Pole. That's the problem right now. 100%. I'm like confident of it. So what we need to do. Okay. We need to find the spire. Okay. So use the imaging to get onto the quantum moon. That's the only way to do that. We already know that. You land on the quantum moon. To get onto the spire. Or sorry. To get the spire to the North Pole. We have to learn... Something about the middle rule, which I can't remember what it was. The one at the Quantum Tower of Knowledge. And then the, once we've learned that and we've managed to get the, spot, the that thing to the North Pole and we've gotten there ourselves, then we use the final clue, the Quantum Entanglement one, to teleport ourselves to the vessel. That's 100% what we have to do. How we do that? Very good question. <laughs> first things first, I think let's go check... I, I, I have to say no. I'm so sorry. I have to say no this time. First things first. Let's go check out the lake bed thing. What do you remember about the vessel? Basically nothing, to be honest. This game is paused while we're reading, right? So we can go read about the vessel real quick. Wait, no, it's not there. It's down here. Okay. The Nomo warped to the solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow the signal from the eye of the universe. The vessel vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. I don't know what that tells us, I'm going to be honest. Excuse me, move the Ash Twin. You're in my fucking way. Please get deleted. Oh, fuck. Bump. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay. 
Now you're just something that I used to know. Song's a fucking banger, honestly. Okay, um, so no it was the North Pole, right? I believe I am correct in saying that. Oh, by the way, I mentioned this not too long ago. Um, wait, was it the South Pole or North Pole? Am I remembering this wrong? No, okay, this is definitely correct. Um, I just remembered, I've actually, you know I said I'm getting into the political stuff. Um, I have finally got my first uh, debate book. So it's going to be, not next week, no sorry, not this week, but next week on Thursday at some really late time. Because everybody here is European as far as, I, as far as I'm aware. It'll be like midnight, so it'll be Thursday after stream, two hours after I end stream, more or less. But yeah, not not this week, next week. I'm Canadian, F. <laughs> yeah, if anybody's interested, it's a debate on abortion. I don't know if anybody cares, but I'm excited. I'm going to have a lot of fun with it, probably. But back to this shit. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> oh, we haven't got very long. I'm assuming there's shit down there. I hope, but I'm going to explore the rest of this area first. Okay, it appears that was the only section. Damn, you have to move fucking quick, don't you? Yeah, this is the only section. Alright, well, we might as well go kill ourselves and then come back and try this again. Lads, get ready for the crunch. It's about to hit. Oh, wait. We, th there's no way we have enough time, right? Oh, God, that noise again. Yeah, get ready for it, buddy. It's coming. Oh, yeah, these caves are kind of a pain in the dick to navigate, aren't they? Maybe this is the way? This appears to be potentially the way. This is the way! Oh my god, we did it. Dude, I'm on some fucking galaxy brain shit today. I don't know what's going on. Do you reckon it's just because I started buying uh, Brain Force Plus from, you know, um... From Infowars, I started taking my Brain Force Plus like a good little, like a good little boy. I think it's uh, showing some positive results. So either that or it's all the soy I eat, one of the two. Okay, there's nothing up there, so that is the way we have to go. Interesting, okay. Um, I'll describe this as suboptimal. The scouts, oh yeah, that's true. You're a wise person. Okay, hang on. I keep taking brain force minus. <laughs> you, you, you're, uh, you know what's up. Brain force minus is the real Chad pills. Oh wow. Okay. This is kind of really old content, but do you guys watch H Bomber Guy? So I fucking loved his videos on um, on soy products in response to Paul Joseph Watson. They're very fun. Point of view, you put some point point of view, you put some sand air in the sand. The only real way, uh, the only way to feel normal is an American. Very true. Very true. I can roast your country because Britain is the most roastable country. It's a... That's very rude. Oh, duh! Oh, fuck. More quantum puzzles, lads. Okay. Get out of here, cactus. Nobody likes you. And you smell. Quantum cactus, baby. <laughs> Excuse me, that's offensive. They're called cacti, actually. <laughs> uh, 
My poor brain. Oh, it's lights. Hog. If you've come here to look for Coalesce, this is where he... Uh, oh my god. The glare. Okay. If you've come here to look for Coalesce, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Okay, wait, hang on. Read this one. What happened before Coalesce disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. Um, I recall Coalesce standing on the largest one, the Wandering Rock. I was taking notes and then my lantern died. I lit the ground again. This is where you learn about the actual rule. Well, yeah, clearly. <laughs> when I lit the ground land again... Um, ah, uh, there you go. When I lit, the, lit it again, Coalesce is in the rock by... F gone. Your stranger Wandering Rock is here, too. Coalesce and I have observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller ones and at, at least uh, two other caverns. I'm sure if I'm unsure if this is relevant. So there's not really anything else for us to glean here, I assume. Just that this thing is here and now we know how to uh, how to do it. Well we might as well ride this son of a bitch out. Well it's a different rock at least, right? Or is it the same rock? No, this appears to be the same rock, brother. So around here will be the writings. Yes, we've already been to this cave. Well, turns out this whole expedition was actually kind of pointless. <laughs> you spin me around, baby. Right, right. Let go, record, baby. Um, okay. They weren't standing before, I don't think. That's pretty fucked up. I believe this is the exit one. Okay. Fuck! Why would I turn my lamp off? Devin, you're a dummy. <laughs> is this... Okay, this is the wrong cave. So we need the next one. Aye, 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 aye. Okay. Finally, freedom. Okay. It's the same rock, uh... But you can't use it to go to the lake bed cave because that area is lit by default. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Makes sense. Okay, well... So we learned nothing. We learned what we already learned. Wow. We were so close to dying. Amazing. <laughs> I, okay, in that case, here's what I'm thinking. I think, as we now know for sure... That's all that was. I think we need to go back to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. So I think there's shit there we haven't... We just haven't read. Or we've misunderstood one of the rules there or something. We need to go back to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. It's just the headlights, bro. Do you think I care? Do I look like a man who cares about some fucking headlights? Wait, that's... Is that... That's not the White Hole Station, is it? Where's Brittle? Hang on. There's the White Hole Station. So we got to go to the interloper. I don't know why I didn't just lock on. <laughs> now we have to do that whole thing again. There we go. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh, that's really annoying. Okay, well, whatever. If I just stand on the Quantum Tower in Brittle Hollow... And wait until it gets sucked. Will that... Will that work? Will I also get sucked into the black hole and... Uh, sorry, into the white hole and still be on the... Uh, well, actually, yeah, into the black hole, out of the white hole. Um, and still be on the uh, quantum tower. Will that work? I feel like it should, but I have no idea if it will. Sometimes? That's not what I want to hear. <laughs> but I mean, I guess that's the plan. I mean, it's, it, we are so clearly just missing a single rule. Like, I think we're basically at the end of the game now. We understand more or less everything we need to. We understand two out of three of the quantum rules. I, But we, like, the rule of the sixth location, I don't fully understand. Please sleep at a campfire if you're doing that. Oh, yeah, because I can pass time, right? Sure, yeah. Does it take a while for the quantum tower to fall, then? I guess it must do. Is Rybeck near enough to do that, though? Like, if we do that, won't the Quantum Tower just, like, vanish without us? I guess it's better to do that than just to jump in, actually. We can probably... Yeah, that probably is fine. Thinking about it. Depends. Okay. 
Wait, why didn't I just... Kind of a dummy. Probably should have just landed on the... Uh, where the quantum tower is. You can stick your scout to the quantum tower to see uh, when the surface integrity drops. I don't understand what you mean. If I remember correctly, it was like... Like... Further across the equator and slightly south of that location. So it should be over here somewhere, I believe. Like this way, maybe? Throw your scout anywhere on Brittle Hollow. Done. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. There it is. I was completely correct. Ow. It's fine. Every now and again, you just gotta take a little womp, you know, just to remind yourself you're alive. Yeah, I don't think Rybex here, so we can't. I mean, we can do it, but we have to go elsewhere and then. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do that. Let's just go elsewhere and then I'm um, jump into the thing. Yeah, right back that way. Okay, cool. All right. Scout is best friend. Very true. Very true. Scout being best friend probably has more to do with the fact that I have zero friends, but still, Scout is best friend. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming Ryback's camp will allow us to pass time. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be very sad. How do you pass time here? I did not mean to do that. Ah, okay. Probably sleep in this bed? No? Oh, you launched. That's great. Good job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here for a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. Oh, this is an early version of the game. Forget about that. Oh, there is no sleep. F. Wait, sleeping was added later on. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been a dream of mine to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived on the solar system. Oh, my God, how is this even playable? <laughs> An alien race lived on the solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard of the other, uh, heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anyone's got that I'm out here. Uh, you know, I honestly, I'm not going to lie, I'm sure this is all wonderful, but I, I don't care. Bye. Thanks, right back. Alright, well. We have to wait for that to get knocked down. Reverse polarity. We might as well try standing on it, then. That's alright, chat. We can all just chill and, you know, have pog to Okay, alright, I guess we're going this way. Um, we're going to all just chill and chat and have pog times together. I'm sure it won't take that long for this thing to dip, will it? We can fly back up and use the surface integrity to look as well. It should be alright. 22 minutes for a, uh, for a chance for it to fall. Wait, what? Wait, really? Does it happen randomly? I would assume everything on here would break at, like, you know, at the same time each time. So, like, the quantum tower always breaks after five minutes or some shit. Is it actually randomized? Surface integrity, 100%. F. Little hot bro hollow breaks randomly. I did not know that. You can throw it anywhere on the tower or near. Huh. Well, I guess this could take a while. I'm almost tempted to go make a bagel. I'm actually, like, really hungry. This is probably going to only be a two-hour stream today because I am just one hungry boy. Did we ever read this? Yeah, must have done. Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, is there anything else we can do down here? You know what? We've probably... There's a good chance we have a while. So let's go back up to our ship. And see if, um, 
See if there's anything we can do at the Summer Sea. I'm hungry but nauseous as well. Oh, that sucks. Chloe gets that a lot. I only get hungry. I'm a fucking demon when it comes to food. I, just, I eat so much more food than it looks like I should be able to. I'm just the hungriest boy. I made, you know, I didn't even, I didn't even um, eat lightly before the stream. I made a whole fucking korma. I made a curry, dude. With a decent amount of rice, one. I'm still hungry. It's only been like what two hours since I ate, and I'm like, oh, I need more food for my tummy. Mm. Give me the energy, please. I get the same sick feeling. Oh, that sucks. Constantly feel like I overate, but I am starving. I mean, if you, you only if you if you gain weight, you're overeating. If you don't gain weight, you're probably not overeating. That's basically like oh fuck, nine times out of ten, that's how that works. It's not literally always the case. I'm not a doctor or anything. I I know, shocking. Um, but I mean, nine times out of ten, that will be roughly correct. And, like, everybody has a different, like, you know, metabolism and stuff. So everybody burns um, more, like, you know, different amounts of calories each day and shit like that. So what works for you is going to be different for other people. Good idea. Two-hour stream. Finish it off on Thursday. Play Sen uh, Senua's Sacrifice next week when I'm off work. Ooh, yeah, that could work. Oh, you know what, guys? Just to let you know, I'm not going to be streaming this Saturday. So Thursday will be um, my last stream this week. The reason being, and we will probably be streaming Tuesday, but not guaranteed... My mum's invited me and Chloe to, um, to, uh, Stratford upon Avon. Like, it's like a little getaway thing, um, this weekend. And as a result, I can't stream on Saturday. And we get back on Tuesday, but I might, we'll see if I can stream on Tuesday. It's going to depend what time I get back. Um, so yeah, just, just, just so you know, and you're not mad, alright? That's what's gonna, gonna be happening. Sunless City, there is still more, oh, that's not, the Sunless City isn't here though. The Hanging City is the one we want to explore. Which seems like it's completely explored, so... Well, alright, never mind. I guess we're just on this planet doing nothing for the me in the meantime. Until the Tower of Quantum Knowledge falls. Is that a good pog or a bad pog? Or is it's actually just a child? It's neither. <laughs> Strim. I could stream from Stratford upon Avon. I don't think my family nor Chloe would be impressed, but <laughs> if I do it and everybody yells at me for streaming, do you reckon it'd be good banter? Do you reckon it'd be like funny for the memes? Do you reckon I? Oh, do you know what would piss Chloe off so much? But the content would be so good. I could totally stream one of our dates. <laughs> like one of the meanest things I could possibly do, but I think it'd be very funny. I need to actually book that day. I said I would, and I'm gonna. It's like coming up to nine. There's some restaurants in the area might be open. I could do it today after stream. Hey Devin, I got vaxxed for the second time yesterday. The side effect hits today. Good to know. I've only had my first shot. Second one's a while away still. I'm getting it in September. I guess it's not that far away. It's been like two months, so. Yeah, we're getting it in September. I'm super hyped. Second I get my second shot, I'm going to run around and spit in everybody's face. It's going to be great. September is the week. Oh my god. Thank you for the extra bits. My brain hurt because of this game now. Can everybody hear the text to speak, by the way? I actually don't know how loud it is. It's like that TikTok uh, with the guy who says he gets to show his girlfriend because it's his birthday. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty accurate, I'd say. Yeah? Oh, okay, good, alright. That's good to know. I always felt like it needs to be a bit louder, but I think this is literally as loud as it can go. That guy had some fun stuff with people around. Please. Asteroids, break the surface. This piece of shit doesn't need to be here. I feel like this is the only thing we have to do left as well. Like, I don't know what else we would explore. I still can't believe I big-brained the quantum entanglement puzzle before it told us how to do it. I hope you guys know that's literally going to, like... My ego is going to be good for a while after that one. 
I'm actually playing, um, me and my flatmate play a decent amount of chess, and we've got a board set up in the front room, and we just, like, you know, we, you know when people play, like, really, really long games, we're doing that. So we have one set up, and we just play for, like, you know, over the course of weeks, um, like, taking, like, days to make moves. And, um, I got fucking destroyed in the last one, so... Didn't you already explore the Tower of Quantum Knowledge? Yes, but I think I missed something. Because, um, I think the second clue says it's in the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. And we, we don't, we haven't, we don't know how to get the, um, shrine to the correct place, to the North Pole. So, my assumption is we missed something. Plus, also, when we came here before, we only read, like, the top half. Then, the, like, we only had a tiny bit of time to read and absorb the information. Because what happened was the, I don't know if you remember, but that loop ended as we were in the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Good strat to revisit, revisit places and read over it. Plus, yeah, like I said, I'm convinced we have... I don't even think we've read everything up there anyway. I think we've read half of it. So, yeah. But, yeah, losing uh, losing the last chess game we played pretty in a pretty brutal fashion as well. Um, can't even touch my ego after what I've, what I've just done on this stream. So, feels good, mate. All right, uh... Tower of Quantum Knowledge was a boomer. I don't understand. <laughs> Why do you kids call everything boomers these days? Not everything needs to be a boomer. I mean, it can be. I'm not necessarily complaining. But I do not understand. Maybe I'm a boomer, dude. I don't get the memes. It went boom. Oh, <laughs> I see. Well, hey, you know what? At least it looks really pretty. Dude. I don't think this is how physics works. I don't think this... I think this should collapse. <laughs> I don't think this would uh, would hold, to be honest with you. Can you just... Can this large bit hit the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, please? No? Okay. <gasps> Go on, hit me! Hit me! It phased through it? Interesting. A piece of land is literally just floating. No, I know, right? It's crazy. Like, look at this shit. That... And this is not supporting this bit of land here. It's just not physically possible. Have I got like the alpha version of the game or something? I thought it was the first release version. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, try placing the scout where you're standing. Alright. Oh. Well, that's a very different result. Does that mean we're gonna go soon? Did I have the wrong thing? I think I had the wrong thing. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, fair enough. Well, hey, we're way closer then. Hit me! Do it! Do it now! You know what, I'm gonna stand here, because when we go through the teleport, we want to be gravita uh, gravitationally aligned to something. I don't know if we'll still be in the same place, but I feel like being here would help. So yeah, let's try here. Yeah, it was a different chunk of land, gotcha. Is there a way to tell how far through a loop you are in this game, by the way? Or is that not really a thing? Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Seems pretty suboptimal, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we probably in hindsight... Oh, Probably should have um, uh, kept our ship nearby and just chilled in there for a bit. Okay, you know what? If this doesn't work and we die of oxygen before we get into Tower of Quantum Knowledge, we'll call the stream there and we know exactly what we're doing on Thursday and how to do it. We'll have this uh, thing nearby. The sun and or sun station are probably the only way to tell. The only way to tell what... Oh, how far through the loop you are. Sure, yeah. Oh my god, I really hope we actually get to do it. Ooh. I guess we could probably reset our um, oxygen at the white whole station if we want. So that's an option, I guess. Can something just hurry up and hit me, please? How's everybody in the chat? I didn't ask how everyone's days were. How's everybody's start of the week been? It's all, I know Monday and Tuesday is always like the everyone's least favourite part of the week. But you're going into Wednesday. You're nearly halfway through. Low O2. Yeah, I know. Pretty chill. Glad to hear it. 
Well, in the end of the loop, Brittle Hollow was about 80% broken. I mean, it looks pretty fucked up. I don't know about 80%, but <laughs> it definitely uh, it definitely looks pretty fucked up. Looking forward to weekend pizza, even if only Tuesday. Do you have like a what? Do you have like a tradition? Do you get um, pizza every weekend or something? Because that's a pretty dank tradition, to be honest. There was a point in my life where pizza was my absolute favourite food. Funnily enough, I was not a pop punk kid, and I did not skate. We have pizza every Saturday. Oh, do you have that with your boyfriend then? That's pretty cute. I'm not really one for, like, traditions and ritual and shit. So, like, me and Chloe don't really have anything like that. <laughs> yeah, he makes the best homemade pizza, to be honest. Oh, that's that's really cute. I'm not gonna lie. You fucking piece of shit. Low oxygen. Okay, you are dying. Alright, well, well, we'll call this one here. Um, or in, like, ten seconds. Fun facts, Ryback... Ryback's camp will never fall, even if the surface integrity reaches zero using cheats. Oh, wow. Well, so, like, even if the land above him falls, he he will just be floating there in space. That's kind of dank, to be honest. Well, that's alright. We know what we're doing at the start of next stream. Um, what we can do is we can place a scout on this tower and then fly and do other stuff while we wait for the surface integrity to go low. Then when it reaches like 50%, we'll fly back and go from there. But yeah, that was a fun stream. We did actually learn quite a lot, even if uh, the end was perhaps less productive. No, I mean the land that contains Rybex camp. Oh, okay, fair, yeah. Oh, wow, all right, fair enough. That's interesting. But hey, anyway, yeah, cheers for watching, everyone. It's been a really fun stream. I'm going to call it there. Um, To the new guys who just joined, A, firstly, thank you for following. I very much appreciate it. B, uh, my name is Devin. I stream on every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I do indie variety streaming. So if that sounds interesting to you and you're lurking and you haven't followed yet, um, please do consider dropping a follow. If not, though, I hope you've enjoyed the stream regardless. And finally, if you're not in the Discord, go join the Discord. That's where all the most, like, the biggest updates updates happen are. Um, that's how to keep up to date with what's going on with the stream, what's going on with general, like, video projects and stuff. Oh, by the way, if anybody's interesting, um, interested, I do also have a YouTube channel um, that I haven't uploaded to in a while, but it has got, like, reviews and stuff on there if you're interested in that kind of content. Um, so my YouTube channel is called Devin Reviews, and um, there's a VOD channel if you're worried about missing certain streams. All the VODs get uploaded there, um, and they're all in neat little, you know, series and stuff like that, and that one's called Devin, uh, Devin Replays, okay? So if anybody's interested in those, go check out those two. If not, no worries. Um... And do join the Discord, though. That is the one thing I will say. If you can join the Discord, join the Discord. Um, you can get there by going to the About Me section on the Twitch page, scrolling down, and then there should be a Discord banner somewhere. If you click that Discord banner, you'll get an invite. By the way, thanks for watching, everyone. Shout out to Air for the new uh, for the new sub. I honestly appreciate that so much. Um, cheers for the dank stream. Cheers for being a dank audience member. Um, above all else, honestly, it's, it's always lovely having, um, new people around that are engaged and stuff with the stream, which, I mean, it's crazy, but I, I guess just the entire Outer Wilds community is a bit like this, you all seem to love the game so much that it pours over in, um, in streams and stuff, which is genuinely really, really fucking cool, so, yeah, um, just watch everyone, it's been a fun stream, I love you all, and I'll see you all on Thursday, don't forget, no stream this Saturday, okay, see you all in two days time, Mwah! stay safe, my dudarinos.